On May 22nd, Texas Children's Legacy Tower will officially open its doors to care for our most critically ill patients. But until that day comes, a lot of preparation and training are still underway. While this may look real, it's just a simulation. Keeping these simulations as realistic as possible is crucial because any one of these scenarios is representative of a real life situation. For the PICU, we really focused on creating a virtual unit. So we wanted the team to participate in all of routine workflows that they would be doing, as well as participate in crisis scenarios and a patient, patient decompensations and codes that might happen also in a PICU setting. Our focus is not as much on design. It's um, really around those processes, making sure that we're using technology to the best of our ability and to really optimize our communication or visibility um, between the spaces. For PICU, we had real families who are on our Family Advisory Council who, during the simulations, played family members so that they could give the family perspective on what this new space is like and the new processes and workflows are like from a family perspective. Before, we were in a warehouse with just sheer imagination. I remember there was a giant box that simulated the MRI machine, and now we're here in the actual real space with real equipment. It's all cutting edge. It's really nice to finally get our hands on it and be learning about it. OR MRI is a great example of a really new process and space that has a lot of potential latent safety threats and concerns. It's particularly important in that that we simulate ahead of time so that we make sure that we're addressing those concerns before that first patient comes in. During the debriefing process, we tried to discuss different aspects that went on during the simulation. So a lot of those, the debriefing checklists, are actually built before the simulation even occurs because we know that there are certain things that we're testing for within the simulations that we're going to want to debrief on and get further information about how that went. We're all talking about what can we improve, what can we change, what can we build upon from what we know from before to make it better here. The massive amounts of teams that it's taken to get to this point has been incredible. I think there's lots of excitement, there's a little bit of nervousness. I think people are really ready to get started in this amazing new space.